Most years, the California winter brings the beautiful roar of waterfalls in the spring heard racing throughout the park. The University of Washington scientists are studying what's known as an axial seamount. The far west of the United States, where volcanic fire meets the surge of the Pacific and forests fall into shadow beneath the ramparts of ancient stone, has long been mythologized as a land of extremes. From the crags of Yosemite to the rain-veiled arcades of the Cascades, Yosemite National Park is known for its breathtaking view. The main attraction is water. This is a region carved by time, water, and the planet's most turbulent moods. For all its storied history and iconic landscapes, the real secrets have rarely yielded easily, remaining out of reach beneath roiling waves, locked away under layers of volcanic glass. Underwater volcano off the coast of California, and scientists think it could erupt soon or whispered in tremors too faint for untrained ears. But in 2025, signs of profound change have emerged as new instruments pierce the darkness and researchers probe boundaries that once marked the very edge of the possible. The West is revealing a suite of discoveries, both natural and technological. An underwater volcano off the Pacific coast stirs to life, with scientists carefully tracking signals of a possible eruption. Teams from Oregon to California have uncovered an immense subterranean aquifer, redefining the region's water resources and geological history. Earthquake activity, climbing in frequency and strength, raises questions about the forces at work below the surface. Meanwhile, storm cycles warp under the renewed grip of La Nina as rising seas and mounting flood risk press relentlessly from the ocean's edge. What emerges is a land more alive and more volatile than even legend could capture. In an age of technology and exploration, what secrets still lie hidden when the land and the sea themselves appear restless? What deeper, hitherto unimagined marvels or threats wait concealed beneath the western sky? What is happening beneath America's western horizon and why are even seasoned scientists taken aback by what is now being uncovered? Awakening beneath the waves, the looming eruption of axial seamount. Miles offshore, far below the reach of sunlight and storm, lies axial seamount, a submarine volcano of enormous size that occupies a chasm of the Pacific Ocean rarely glimpsed, even by those who study this coast. For decades, axial has been recognized as the most active undersea volcano in the Northeast Pacific, a massive feature whose eruptions can reshape the ocean floor. But in 2025, the signals changed. Scientists have documented an unusual uptick in seismic activity and chemical emissions, a phenomenon so pronounced that it may herald the first major eruption of the volcano since the last event several years ago. Sensors anchored across the seafloor near Axial have detected tremors, some so faint they barely register, others arriving in swarms. Data from these instruments show marked increases in seismicity and ground deformation, including evidence of the volcano's caldera inflating as magma accumulates beneath. Chemical signatures, including plumes of hydrogen sulfide and methane, rise through darkened water columns, and heat fluxes have been measured around well-known hydrothermal vents. Forecasting an eruption with precision remains difficult. But with new arrays and improved algorithms, scientists can now spot patterns and changes in seismicity and deformation months in advance, far more lead time than was possible with previous generations of technology. To witness a submarine volcano's progression toward eruption in such detail represents a dramatic shift in the relationship between observer and planet. Should axial seamount erupt, should magma surge up, and lay down new fields of lava, the event would largely unfold out of sight, deep beneath the ocean. The sea itself would dampen the sound and fury of eruption, turning what might appear to be catastrophe into an unseen transformation. While coastal cities would likely not be directly affected, the eruption's energy muffled at depth. At the seafloor, lava flows could reshape ecosystems, alter chemical gradients, 
and trigger biological changes across hydrothermal communities. Who or what will emerge from beneath Axial's restless shadow? When one of the best monitored undersea volcanoes undergoes an eruption predicted with unprecedented accuracy, what lessons will be learned? And what new questions may arise for explorers in the years to follow? The Aquifer Revelation, water's secret labyrinth in Oregon's heart. Beyond fire and lava, a quiet but important discovery emerged in 2025. Beneath the forests and mountains of central Oregon, scientists have mapped a vast hidden aquifer. This enormous underground water system, recently delineated by teams from the University of Oregon and other collaborating research groups using seismic imaging and chemical tracers, has expanded understanding of how water courses beneath the earth. For those familiar with Oregon's lush landscapes, the existence of a deep, interconnected aquifer suggests a new explanation for the region's copious springs and streams. This revelation, built upon years of fieldwork and cutting-edge imaging, reframes the story of how water sustains forests and feeds rivers across changing climatic conditions. The potential implications are profound. By revealing previously unknown groundwater reserves, the discovery may provide a buffer against coming drought cycle, an increasingly urgent prospect in the face of a shifting climate. What surprised scientists was not only the scale and complexity of the aquifer, but its dynamic relationship with the geology of the Cascades. The region's volcanic bedrock riddled with fractures and fissures from ages of tectonic tumult, serves as a passageway for water, some of it heated to create hot springs, some dissolving minerals, all of it part of a continual parade beneath the surface. As researchers probe deeper, they encounter evidence of unusual chemistry, trace elements, and dissolved gases, revealing both the aquifer's connection with volcanic processes and its influence on surface ecosystems. In some cases, dating techniques yield records of water movement that span thousands, even tens of thousands, of years. Analysis points to historic flooding on a scale rivaling the biggest modern rivers, with echoes still visible in etched rock and buried sediment. How far does this subterranean system reach? What risks and opportunities lie untapped within these hidden waters? And as climate patterns shift, will the labyrinthine aquifer remain a safeguard for the Pacific Northwest, or could it present unforeseen challenges? Quakes at the threshold, the gathering storm beneath. For the West, in 2025, seismic activity is central to the region's evolving narrative. April brought notable shifts, not just in scientific expectation, but in the Earth itself. A powerful earthquake shook the Pacific Northwest, bringing to light new vulnerabilities, especially when paired with changing weather and rising sea level. This was not a single isolated event. Instead, researchers observed swarms of hundreds to thousands of microquakes, small tremors concentrated along the seafloor near axial seamount and radiating inland through the crust. Though imperceptible to most people, these tremors are meticulously recorded by sensitive seismometers and provide clues about the stresses building beneath the region. Each event is a note in a growing symphony of seismic unrest. Unlike the infamous fault slicing through California, these earthquake swarms are associated with ancient and active volcanic systems. As magma shifts and pressurizes chambers deep below the ground, Gases, including hydrogen sulfide, escape upward, marking places where pressure and temperature are changing. While these quakes are not expected to directly threaten cities or infrastructure, their cumulative effect can subtly alter the hydrology and stability of land already stressed by weather-driven flooding and rising sea levels. With La Nina returning to the tropical Pacific, weather systems have become more intense. Changes in precipitation increase flood risk, and coastal areas face additional strain as the climate's influence amplifies natural hazard. Scientists warn that if a major earthquake were to coincide with heightened flood conditions, the resulting impacts could be severe, threatening towns, infrastructure, and natural habitats. The deepest scientific questions remain 
Are these swarms and tremors warning signs of larger events to come, or simply part of a restless region's normal rhythm? Are we able to read these signals in time to inform actions that keep communities safe? As always, the answers remain elusive, the outcome uncertain. Ghosts in stone and forest, fossilized forests, and submerged memories. Hidden beneath the rolling earth of Oregon's northern plains, other discoveries are quietly rewriting the history of life in the region. Excavations have exposed ancient trees, so-called ghost forests, their trunks and roots intact, preserved beneath layers of clay and sediment. These fossilized remains open windows onto climates and ecosystems from millions of years ago, when Oregon was greener and wetter than it is today. Paleobotanists study these ancient stumps, some so well-preserved that bark and growth rings are still visible. Their careful analysis extracts stories of past droughts, floods, and catastrophic events, sometimes indicated by layers of volcanic ash or rapid sediment deposition. Within and around the trunks, traces of fossilized ferns, seeds, and insects offer rare glimpses into worlds otherwise lost to time. Each layer is a clue to what happened here long ago, from slow shifts in rainfall and vegetation to sudden landscape-altering disasters. The very existence of these forests, sometimes perfectly upright, sometimes toppled on mass, is evidence of nature's power to both nurture and erase. They are sobering reminders that even the most stable and enduring ecosystems are, in the end, subject to change beyond human memory. Other mysteries linger below the sea. Sonar surveys in coastal waters occasionally detect odd rows and patterns among rocks, sometimes prompting speculation about geomorphic processes or, possibly, ancient human activity. For now, such claims remain unverified, but the allure of the unknown persists, drawing researchers back to the field again and again. A flood in waiting, rising seas, La Nina, and the new order of water. It is not only the solid ground that poses challenges to the West. In 2025, as La Nina brings cooler surface waters to the Pacific, weather patterns shift abruptly. Enhanced rainfall lashes the coast, rivers run higher than average, and sea levels continue their gradual but relentless rise. This convergence increases flood risk for thousands of residents, especially in low-lying towns and urban centers along the coast and in river valleys. Climate scientists estimate a 59% chance that La Nina conditions will persist through the early months of the year, with the possibility that storms and extreme weather may intensify as the year progresses. The practical effect is a new baseline of vulnerability. Levees and flood defenses are reassessed, cities and port authorities reevaluate evacuation and disaster plans, and insurance companies and governments begin weighing the costs of increased risk. An added complexity emerges from the newly mapped underground aquifers in Oregon and beyond. These hidden reservoirs could act as natural buffers, absorbing excess rainfall and dampening the effects of flooding. Or, under certain conditions, they could transport water in unexpected ways, potentially causing localized flooding or destabilizing ground already weakened by seismic tremors. At the junction of water, weather, and stone, the West faces an uncomfortable truth. Shifting aquifers, rejuvenated by seasonal rains, may interact with faults and sediments in unpredictable ways. In certain scenarios, earthquake-triggered landslides or ground subsidence could amplify the effects of heavy rainfall, forcing communities to adapt to rapid changes in their environment. Riddles of the unseen, science's new frontier, and the human element. Amid all this upheaval, 2025 is proving to be a crucible, not just for nature, but for science itself. This year, American research is under strain from political and economic pressures. Funding for scientific projects has grown more uncertain, and many researchers are struggling to maintain critical observation networks, deploy new technologies, and analyze the growing flood of data. Nevertheless, the commitment to discovery and adaptation continues. Drone fleets and sensor arrays sweep the mountains and coastlines, scouring for everything from subtle ground shifts to anomalies in atmospheric chemistry. 
Some face occasional setbacks, interference from volcanic rocks affecting navigation, gaps in funding delaying new installations, or unexpected storms diverting field teams. Each challenge is a reminder of the unpredictable and sometimes unforgiving nature of the scientific pursuit. Caves exposed by receding snowpacks and formerly frozen ground offer opportunities for new investigations into ancient biological remains, seeds, or even fragments of DNA preserved over millennia. When the sky flares, when the ground moves, even the skies weigh in. In early 2025, a particularly strong solar flare burst from the sun, sending a wave of radiation toward Earth and drawing attention from scientists and engineers on the ground. Space weather events like these can disrupt power grids and satellites and remind us of the profound interconnectedness between celestial phenomena and life on our planet. While the direct impact on daily life was limited, the event underscored a growing awareness of the need for robust monitoring and contingency planning, not just for seismic or hydrological risks, but for the full spectrum of natural hazards. Meanwhile, new research in Yosemite draws attention to the region's volcanic past. Scientists are mapping relics of ancient volcanic activity, searching for dormant but influential features underlying the forests and granite outcrops. Using modern remote sensing, geochemistry, and field surveys, they piece together the region's hidden history, offering insights into future hazards and opportunities for resource management. Yet with every discovery comes a new set of questions. Could shifts in the aquifer's flow exacerbate earthquake risk or cause sudden changes in surface water? Could tapping the resource cause unforeseen environmental impacts? The next secret, the next shockwave. As 2025 advances, the Western United States becomes both a theater and a laboratory, a place where profound mysteries of earth, water, and life converge. Scientists work overtime to monitor axial seamount, apply lessons from new aquifer mapping, and update risk assessments for floods and quakes in a rapidly changing climate. Local and regional governments, alongside indigenous communities and environmental groups, plan for contingencies, drawing on the latest models, but always prepared for surprise. Yet that is the enduring truth. The planet is not finished revealing its secrets. Every fossil unearthed, every subterranean flow mapped, every tremor or surge of deep sea gas is an invitation to look again, more closely, with more humility, at what lies beneath familiar ground. Each discovery spins new questions, redrawing the boundary between knowledge and mystery for all who live under these shifting skies. And you, where do you find your awe? Is it in the silent eruption you may never witness, but which reshapes the ocean floor? Or is it in the ancient forest, its memory imprinted in stone and clay? Does your curiosity rise with the news that scientists have mapped a new labyrinth of water, long hidden, or in the ongoing effort to decode earthquakes and the complex mathematics of a restless, dynamic Earth? Comment below with the revelation that speaks loudest to you, the volcano's whisper, the aquifer's hidden pulse, or the powerful lesson of rivers suddenly rising. To watch the West in 2025 is to watch a world in flux, always unfinished, always searching, and always poised for the next astonishing turn. The greatest mysteries, it turns out, are not confined to distant space or ancient legend. They lie in the ground underfoot, in every tremor, every hidden reservoir, and every unexplored corner of the continent. Stay alert, stay wondering, and above all, keep exploring. The next shockwave, as always, is just a question away.